today's session I did, uh, you know, some muscle up training, um, you know, pretty good session. Uh, but the question of the day is kind of like, you know, can you look like me, basically? Um, so I got this comment. Did you get jacked only from calisthenics? And what's your workout plan? It will help my life if you'll answer. That last part was kind of funny. Um, so in regards to the first question or what I first kind of opened up the video with, can you look like me? 100% yes. Um, I've been training for about two and a half years now. And most of my training has been with just body weight movements. I mean, you know, here and there, within that timeline here and there, I've trained with weights. You know, I've done barbell and dumbbell training. I've done weighted calisthenics, but most of my training over the course of, the, you know, the two years and a half that I've been training has been body weight, uh, you know, just calisthenics movements, right? I mean, I've done like, you know, tricep push-ups. I've done... Um, you know, ring curls or, or um, parallel bar curls, whatever the case may be. But yeah, most of my work is from calisthenics. Most of my gains are from just body weight training. And, you know, you can see on the screen here, uh, you know, in, in my thumbnails and past videos, like, you know, the progress I've been making and just how I look in general. So this stuff has been working. Um, and my general program is about it's it's full body so i will usually usually uh open the day with doing a vertical pulling movement um or more most likely a pull up so i kind of split things up in a little bit so i'll do a pull, a pull up superset it with a any type of other vertical pushing movement so that would usually be like a pike press so a pull up superset with a pike press three sets I don't go to failure. I kind of approach it a little bit. Um, and then after that, I will do uh, some like kind of like arm and core work. So I'll do like one set of tricep extensions, one set of curls, and then I'll do um, core. So I'll do like either leg raises, sit ups, um, you know, whatever type of like, you know, core that usually uh, core exercise that will usually challenge my abdomen. Most of the time it's just leg raises and sit ups. And then after that, I'll do 100 squats um, or 100 lunges, you know, or 160 squats, whichever kind of like body weight leg exercise that I'm kind of feeling to do that day. That'll, of course, hit my quads, glutes, um, you know, just like everything that I kind of need. So that's like the basis. Right. And then the next day I'll do chin ups, superset it with push ups. Um, and then I'll still do tricep extensions. I'll still do curls and then I'll still do a ab, uh, you know, one set of abs. And then I'll still do uh, my hundred or so, you know, squats, you know, squat variation. And it's pretty simple. Um, I go through just about all my bases that I want to go through, um, you know, through that type of training. And it's very simple. It's very simple for me to follow. Um, and yeah, that's just kind of like how I've gotten to the way I've looked. I mean, I haven't done full body my entire, you know, training um, period, but I've done mostly, I'd say upper lower. That is probably what I've done the most um, compared to like full body or compared to push pull legs. I can, I can never really get used to push pull legs. Um, but when I'm able to superset pulling movements with pushing movements, I think that's like the best thing. So that's why I've done upper lower most of my training career. Um, and you could definitely start with just upper lower. Um, at first, you can just start with doing pull ups, push ups, chin ups, uh, dips, or pike push ups. If you are able to do dips and pike push ups, um, and just superset those on your uh, your upper body days, and then on your lower body days, you can do squats. You can do some type of hinge movement, whether that be hip extension, hip extensions, um, leg curls, maybe. Um, single leg RDLs, um, hip thrusts, um, glute, glute bridges, you know, whatever the case may be. And then calf raises, if you want to do calf raises, whatever. And then repeat that probably like, you know, repeat each day twice out of the week. So that'd be like four training days. And then as you can kind of get used to training volume, then you'd probably, you could probably add two more days. So now you're training six days out of the week. And then you have like one rest day where you can probably do like stretching, mobility, cardio, uh, whatever the case may be. 
And it's really all just up to you and your own, like, you know, what you want to do personally. Now, again, in regards to are you able to look like how I do in the amount of time that I've been training? So, obviously, I feel like the answer is yes. You know, I don't look insane. I don't look like I have the craziest physique known to mankind. Um, especially for, for body weight training, I, I'd say I have a pretty decent physique, I would say. Uh, some people might say I look better. Um, some people might say I look mid, I'm not sure. Uh, but, um, the first, first thing is just consistency, right? Consistency, and that will get you where you want to go. Um, and some people might even look better than me and within like the same amount of time or even a shorter amount of time, because, we have to factor in uh, anthropometry. We have to factor in skeletal structure. We have to factor in, um, you know, muscle bellies and where our muscles attach to the tendon. Uh, we have to factor in, like, you know, which individual muscles will respond faster to, to training than some other muscles. So it's like you out there watching might look better than me technically within, you know, the same amount of time that I've been training or even less because... You might just have genetics, better genetics for aesthetics, basically. Um, but that's just, you know, all dependable, depending on, you know, the individual. And in terms of how long it will take you to see any type of like decent or good results for me. So I started training in uh, June of what, 2020, if I'm not mistaken. No, it was not 2020. It was 2021 and June of 2021. And it wasn't around, it wasn't until around December to when I saw like that I had abs, right? So I was like stoked and I felt like it wasn't a long amount of time. It was like what five, that's like around five months or so. Um, and you know, I was just training consistently. I was training almost every day, or I think I was training maybe four days, six days out of the week. Um, and it got me to kind of like where I was kind of, th you know, dreaming of um, at first. So, of course, you're not going to look like how I look in two, uh, you know, in five months. But you're definitely going to see some results within five months to where you're going to kind of want to keep going. You're going to kind of want to keep striving. Right. You know, you're going to have that realization where like when you flex your arm and it's like actually like muscle and not just like, I don't know, skin and bone or just fat right there. So it's just, um, again, discipline, consistency. Consistency is the most important thing. If you train uh, as much as you're able to, whilst also, of course, recovering and prioritizing recovery to an extent, they're going to get results no matter what. Um, of course, there is dieting. Um, you know, if, you're, if you want to count your macros, count your calories, weigh your food, whatever the case may be, you can do that if you feel like it's not going to take away from your ability to basically keep your workouts intriguing because to me I don't do any of that stuff I don't count my calories I don't I don't whatever I don't do any of that type of stuff right um I'm not that pedantic when it comes to all the details of like um you know how I eat now I eat well I make sure I eat cl uh, clean whole foods but I'm not being like oh I have to make sure I get um uh, 4,000 calories a day or whatever the case may be. I'm on a bulk, man. I have to make sure. Oh, okay. Let me make sure I slowly cut down on my calories uh, every other week or so. So therefore I can get a cut and I can have six pack abs. And, you know, that's not what I really focus on. That's not what I'm worried about. Um, again, like I'm not like a bodybuilder. I feel like that's just for people who body build. I think for in, in general, if you're a person who is looking out for your health, um, and you just kind of like want to look better. You don't really have to worry about like counting calories and stuff like that. Just kind of get more general knowledge on how and what you should be eating. Um, and be honest with yourself. Like, did you have to eat like that 15th cookie today? Like, just be more honest with yourself. And again, just try and be more active in your life. Um, just try and do more running. Try and do more stretching. Try and just just again, just be more physical in general and it's going to help you lo to lose a lot more weight um, a lot sooner and a lot faster if you do any, have any like weight problems. For me personally, when it comes to like, you know, counting carbs, calories, macros, whatever the case may be, again, like I don't worry about that type of stuff because it's such like a, like a teeny tiny like thing to worry about. Um, 
you know, again, just make sure you are eating healthy. Make sure you go and find the knowledge as to what is healthy for you to eat. And for me, I like to be more simple. I like things that are simple. This, that is not simple. That is complicated. That is difficult. That takes a, a lot of time and energy when I could be spending that time kind of learning other things than like, you know, how much calories was in my bowl of oatmeal this morning. Um, you know, again, like just find what works for you, what food works for you. Um, so you can just go on about your day, right? You know, you don't want to be keep eating junk food. You want to keep eating pizzas or burgers, whatever the case may be. Like some people might not call this smart advice, but this is just how I go, right? Like I don't count all those little things because again, it's complicated and it's not going to make, it's not going to make eating enjoyable, right? Now I'm not saying you have to always enjoy eating or whatever the case may be, but it kind of takes away um, the point of like food, right? You're just kind of like seeing it as numbers and I feel like you're developing not the best relationship with food when you do that. Now, it's good. It's really good to regulate your food and to know what you're putting into your body. Um, but I feel like there's a limit to it to where it's like, dude, no, I have to make sure I meet my calorie goal for today. Otherwise, I'm not going to gain any type of muscle whatsoever. Uh, that's just like, you know, it's just worrisome. It's bothersome. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's kind of annoying in a way to like what to track that stuff all the time, every time, every day. You know, it's just like, again, like I'm not a bodybuilder, so I'm not going to worry about trying to keep track of all those little details and stuff like that. Um, and I've seen progress. I've seen growth. I mean, if I were to go back literally in the beginning of me starting this channel and then look at myself now, I've seen progress. I've seen, I've, I can see the visual progress on my body and feel the progress. I feel much stronger, um, you know, much, even much more flexible, stuff like that. And other people like notice that too. I've gotten comments saying like, wow, you look more jacked from before. So again, it's like consistency is going to trump all, right? You can worry about your macros and calories and how much protein you're getting in a day or whatever the case may be. Um, how much, so oh, I have to make sure I get, uh, approximately one hour of sunlight because that's going to increase my testosterone and that's going to make like, that's probably a fact. That's probably true. But it's like, again, don't try and trip over that stuff too much because it's just going to make regular life, like not as engaging. You won't be in the moment because everything you're going to be doing is going to be just towards like, you know, like every little thing you're going to be doing is going to be towards like the goal of like what looking better looking better without clothes um again there's nothing wrong with wanting to look better without clothes i want to look better without clothes but it's just like you know don't take things to a point to where it's like it becomes your whole life basically right and for me i feel like i get very absorbed and involved in things and if i were to really be super serious about like all that stuff then like it would just kind of take away from everything and that's kind of like a bit <laughs> This is kind of a bit of a rant off topic, but um, again, yes, you can definitely look like me. Again, just make sure you stay consistent. Make sure you train hard. And even if you do stuff like, you know, you bulk properly by counting your calories and macros and stuff like that, you might look better than me because you were able to go through every little micro detail. Um, so, yeah. So, again, that was my routine that I kind of detailed earlier on. Um, you know, showing you guys a bit of progress. So it's definitely what I'm where I am right now is definitely attainable. It's more than attainable. Um, all you need to do is just be consistent and just really want that.